Welcome to uh, the next part of our series on data analysis. This one is on generating a residual plot. Notice that we've already uh, generated our residuals. So in order to generate a residual plot, we simply highlight the X column or the radius in this case. Now keep your finger on the control key so that you can highlight the residual column as well. Then we make sure that our home tab is clicked. I'm sorry, we go to insert. And once we click on insert, we go over to scatter and click on the first scatter uh, graph. There it is. We'll drag it up. We could make it a little bit easier to view. You could drag it uh, to make it a little bit longer. It might be a little bit easier to change the numbers on the x-axis um, since we know that we're between somewhere between 6 and about 18 we can simply click uh, right click on the horizontal axis select format axis click on minimum value and make it fixed and make that a 6 and for maximum value click on fixed and make that 18 we click close and notice now it goes from 6 to 18 might be a little bit easier to see the pattern. You could also drag it a little bit longer if you wish. Um, and there we have our residual plot. Just to explain what the residual plot means, if you notice that in our original data point over here, when x is 7.9, which is our radius, the actual height is 61 inches. Uh, that's this point right here. But on the predicted value, it is actually at around 64. And this distance right here from 61 to 64 is our residual. Notice that we have that distance is negative 3.8. And it's negative only because the, predict the height is, uh, the actual height is less than the predicted value. So that distance is negative 3.8. And if we look over at our residual plot, our first value right here, when x is 7.9, the residual point is negative 3.8. So that is that particular data point. 7.9 comma negative 3.8 is right here. And then we would move on from there. We could get 12 and negative 2 is on this as well. 12 is somewhere around here. And so on and so forth. 